everyone, my name is Dorothy, the founder of Ada Arts. Thank you so much for purchasing your Paint Night in a Box kit. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be teaching you a step-by-step -step tutorial of this exclusive painting. Thank you again for purchasing and I hope you enjoy and have a great time. Your Savage Painting. You need two paint brushes. One's going to be for the black and the other is going to be for the other colors. The colors that you need are white, pink, black, and red. For this, it's not going to be much of an explanation. I'm just only going to teach you how to paint in this so that it could look like a open mouth with the tongue. For what I'm going to do is I'm going to be painting the background black. The words are going to be in red and the lipstick is also going to be red and pink. So let's get started. So you want to make sure that you have also a cup of water so that you could rinse your paintbrush and napkin. So what I'm going to begin with is, first I'm going to begin with the mouth area because everything else is just filling in. So first what we're going to start off with is the red and you want to make sure that you're using the paintbrush that does not, that you're not going to be using for the, for the black. So all I'm going to do is just kind of fill in this area right here with the bright red. Make sure. Um, it's better to use red because for the other colors, you're going to, for the pink, you're going to use that for the top. So I'm just going to fill in this, the lip area with red. Make sure it's filled in properly. Give it a little heart shape. That's that. I'm going to rinse this out and I'm going to use the same paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is now go into the, and use the pink. have to mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that you guys already have it. Um, so if you have to mix the red and white, you can go ahead and do it if you don't like the pink. So I mixed mine up and this is the pink that I got. And this is the pink. This pink is gonna be used for the tongue. So all I'm gonna do is just fill in the tongue area. And I know there's some parts that you're gonna cover up, but that's okay. So you're just going to fill this part up. If you feel like it's too pink, you could always add a little bit more white to it to give it more of a lighter pink, a lighter shade. and you have your lip gloss now so now you're going to rinse out this paintbrush rinse it out until there's no pink on it left there's no pink left on it and what you're going and what we're going to go into is the gums for the gums you want it to be a lighter pink so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more white a little bit more white into the pink that you already have so that it could be a lighter pink so you could also just get um, some of the white that I provided you, kind of mix them together so that you could get a lighter pink. It should be kind of rose, rose petal, cotton candy type color. And you don't want a lot of it, so you could just mix it. You could just mix it lightly. And this is the color that you should have. This very light pink. And all you're gonna do is just fill in on top of the teeth. So in order to fill this in so that you don't mess it up, you want to use the paintbrush this way and not this way. This way for detailing. So you're going to go in around the teeth. And all the way through. paintbrush I'm 
go in with the white. Go in the teeth. So all you're doing is just half circles, just filling in that color, just half circles. Make sure that your paintbrush does not have any other color on it so it's not disrupting the the painting that we're trying to get. See, I messed mine up because I have pink still in mine. So make sure you rinse out your paintbrush thoroughly. Rinse it out and then damp, wipe it onto the napkin to get the color out. And we're gonna go back in with the white, make just little circles, half circles for the teeth. I know it's pretty small, and we're gonna outline it with black so that it could all stand out. All right, this is what you should have so far. It's looking good. So I want to go back over the lip. So with the same paintbrush, rinse it out thoroughly, and you're gonna add some more red to the lip area, just to make it pop out a little bit more. And it's okay if you go over the lines that are already on there because you're gonna be able to see the lines already that's provided. Because once the paint dries up, you're gonna see the lines. So if you want the lip to be bigger, you could always just add a bigger arch. And this is what we have so far. Go back in, rinse that paintbrush out, make sure you wipe it onto the napkin that you have so that there's no other color. The lip is black or the inside of the mouth. So you just get a little bit of black because it's not that much. And you're just gonna make sure you do not touch any, you don't touch the tongue. You go around the tongue area. Outline it first, so go around the tongue. Go and you outline the, the teeth. You go around the teeth, which should be a straight line. And then you fill in what's left. Okay, it's looking kind of savage, it's looking kind of savage. No pun intended. You're gonna rinse out that paintbrush Brush, and we're gonna go back in with that same pink that you had. That same paintbrush, you're gonna use that same pink to go over the tongue just to make it darker. It's looking cool right now, it's looking very cool. All right, so if when you're painting, if you feel like it's looking chopped up or chalk up, this is what I like to say, you're gonna go over it smoothly with one stroke, one long stroke. That's what you're gonna do. Now, if you want the tongue to be pointy, you can bring it out, make it point. You see how it looks. If you don't, you could leave it just like that. So right now, before before we add any details, we're gonna leave it like that and we're gonna go into filling in the other, we're gonna fill in the words with the color that you prefer. So I'm gonna end this video and you could pause it and then we're gonna, I'm gonna just fill in this color, fill in the words with the color that I would prefer and I'm gonna come back on to give you the details. I'm gonna fill in the color and I'm also gonna fill in the background with the color that I would like as well. All right. I have so far black background as I said red for the words and I know you guys see a little bit of um, you know a shadow on the back I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that on the words all I did was mix white and black to make a to make kind of a grayish color not so much white and I just kind of added it on the outside of on the outside of the letters so only in the outside I just curved it in and the only important part that you really that is kind of hard to do is 
creating this kind of square. So what you do at the end of this letter, you create a square. And what I do is I make a line here, make a line here, and then make a line here. And that's the square and I just fill that in lightly. So now we're gonna do that over here too. So we're gonna make a line on one side of the A And you're going to create another line on that side make it don't make it straight up make it slanted and then you're going to add a line at the top to create this square and then you're going to bring that down doesn't have to be straight and then you're going to make a curved line a straight kind of a slanted line going up and that's that right there and you just fill that in That's one. Same thing for the letter V. You're gonna make a line here. All you're doing is just making a, just kind of just plot in the paint brush. You're just gonna plot it straight down. Then you're gonna make a line at the top. And then you're gonna bring this down the same way you brought down the A. Bring it all the way down. Then you're going to make a line here, just a line like that, and then you're going to bring it up, and you're going to fill that in. That's it. White. Give it a gray color. Bar. Let's do the same thing that we did for the A. So you're going to make a slanted line going towards the S, another slanted line going towards the S, a straight line at the top to make this square, and then you're going to bring it down, and then you're going to make another slanted line going up towards the V, and then the line, you don't really have to make it, you just have to plot the the paintbrush onto the canvas and all you do now is fill in. Easy. Let's do it for the letter E. Now for the letter E, you're gonna do a line here, slanted facing the S. My line is a little bit too thick, so you're gonna make a line here. You're gonna make the line here facing the lip, and you're gonna make a line straight across, boom. And you're gonna make a line straight down, boom. Straight down, boom. And then you're gonna add a slanted line going upwards, and you're gonna do that little square that we taught, that I taught you, but this square is gonna be straight across, so just a line here, and a line here, and then it's just gonna be a little square, that's it. And then you're gonna bring this here, down there, and you're just gonna fill it in. But I'll re-explain it to you again, so that you could see. So far so what I did was I made a line here then I created another line down here at the bottom of the out and then I just added a line straight down that's it all right now to make the letters look cartoonish what we're gonna do is you're gonna use the same paintbrush and then the same amount of white white that I have and what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a slanted line just kind of a curved line boom on the outside you're gonna add another line here make a little cross we're gonna add another line here 
another line here for the A. I down L. And then for the lip area, there should already be an indentation where you want to add the little line. And you're just going to add it up here to make the lip gloss pop. Boom. Now we're going to add another line here. Just a straight line. Another L. And then add one line at the bottom for all of these. Just to give it the cartoon effect. Add a line here. Make sure that the white is, is brighter than the red. Like here you see how it's ashy? It's kind of like ashy white. You want it to be a bright white so you can see it. It shouldn't blend in. We're also gonna do another accent. We're also gonna add another accent at the bottom of the tongue and it's just gonna be a curve. That's it. Now you wanna fill in you want to fill in a couple more keep doing that and then while we're now that we're almost done you're gonna rinse out your paintbrush and the other paintbrush that you were using that has the black as you can see this has more black on it you're gonna use that and then what we're going to do you want to flatten out your brush with your hand just to make sure that it's sharp and you're gonna dip it into the paint just as so and we're gonna use that to outline the to outline the tooth, the teeth. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna outline it lightly and you're gonna use lines across and then you're gonna make curvatures at the top very lightly, just as so. to clean up the areas that you feel like needs to be cleaned. Here, just to give it some accent. Of course, every painter needs to do one thing, and that is, that's what they must do, is sign your artwork. I hope this was fun. Thank you for tuning in, and you have just become a savage thank you thank you so much for your purchase you have just created your first masterpiece it's beautiful i hope you like it too thank you so much for your purchase and i hope you enjoy your day bye